we are seeing the power of these teachers unions and the fact that they basically haven't been stopped and they keep gulping and gulping additional power. And they have it has come to a point, Ali, where they don't even hide it anymore. Back when I was a teacher, it seemed a little sneaky, a little bit behind the scenes. But if you read their most recent, the NEA, which is the largest teachers mm -hmm. union group in America, they published in July their platform and the things that they were going to be focusing on focusing on. And they're not focusing on issues that help children or teachers. They are focusing on very hard left wing political issues. And they're using the teachers unions, the power of the reach that they have with their membership and their money uh, and their connections to actually brainwash American kids. And if I if I spend a moment just describing to you how egregious this platform mm -hmm. is, one of the things that they're focusing on, and I'm just going to read you a list. I have the entire packet here from July, uh, but I pulled out some excerpts because I think you might find this really interesting. One of the things that at the top of their agenda is support transitioning students and push the whole pronouns agenda, wow. fight in institutional homophobia, fight for equity, fight against white supremacy culture in America, anti-black and colorism fight for for more DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion, and make sure to put pressure on universities to use that as a tool uh, to decide which kids should make it into college. Um, in addition to that, they want to fight by all this. This is how they write this all means to defend Roe v. Wade and give students kids access to birth control and abortion. Wow. Uh, additionally, I have a few more of them. They, they're working on giving asylum for migrants who are now arri arriving at the border. This is a very topical issue actually this week. Um, fight Florida and their don't say gay law, which of course we all know is a complete farce with the way they title it. Um, mandatory Fight for mandatory masking and vaccines in schools. This is again in the NEA as agenda. Uh, this article num number 30, if anybody wants to look it up, attack the largest largest 25 organizations that they don't like. I would not be surprised if PragerU is probably on their list. Uh, take a stand on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, uh, accusing Israel of abuse and discrimination, packing the courts. I mean, for goodness sakes, how are any of these issues important for children? And so we have to, this is our time as parents to defend our kids, to defend our future, and, and fight this behemoth. Wow. I had a woman, a former teacher, who was on the show a couple of years ago. I think she was out of the state of California, who tried to stand up to the teachers' unions because they're not just taking away valuable education from kids. They're really bullying a lot of teachers. Teachers who don't agree are scared and for good reason to stand up to the teachers unions because they really act kind of like the mafia. They're like, if you do not support us, if you don't align with how with, you know, the things that we believe, then we're going to ruin you. We're going to make it very difficult to do your job. So when the teachers unions have this much power and they are this disinterested in the success and the well-being of students, how in the world do we begin combating it? Sometimes it seems like they're just too big and too powerful, too in bed with the Democratic Party for us to really be able to push back against them. So the teachers unions are the Democratic Party. If yeah. you, you know, read through the list, it's, it's basically synonymous. I don't believe that we fight because we know we can win. I believe that we fight because we know we have to fight. Yeah. And you know, the truth is with us. And I also believe that there's something very powerful about parenting that gives you a source of energy that you never believed that you would have. Yeah. And so if parents understand what is at stake and we all come together, we can be so incredibly powerful. And part of what we knew, need to do is we need to revolt. This is this is our revolution. This is our moment to protect our kids and our eyes need to be wide open and we need to just push hard against it. And I can't tell you how many teachers I know that actually share our values and yeah. are still part of the teachers unions, yeah. thinking that they have to be members because they think they need the protection. I mean, on a daily basis, I get uh, DMs on my Instagram from teachers who, are, who follow us and say, you know, I'm really sorry, but I feel like I have to be part of the union because I feel like I need the protection. And it's it's really a farce because they don't actually protect good teachers. Teacher, mm -hmm. Good teachers don't need to be protected. They're not going to get fired. They 
protect it's the, the bad, bad teachers, teachers getting protected. Right, right. They protect not just bad teachers, but in some cases, criminal teachers. There was that story a couple of years ago, I remember in the New York Post, where this guy uh, was still getting paid over $100,000 a year after he had been found guilty of sexually harassing high school students. There are these kinds of rubber rooms across the country where these bad, corrupt, in some cases, criminal teachers are still getting paid taxpayer money. That's what the teachers unions are good for. Uh, Exactly. I mean, they protect the bad teachers and they actually don't reward the good teachers because there are plenty of really young, energetic, incredibly amazing teachers out there. But just because they haven't been tenured year yet, they haven't received, you know, they don't receive bonuses. I mean, what is what a great way it would be if we could reward teachers who do great by actually providing them bonuses for doing good work, as opposed to being rewarded based on the, the number of years that you serve the membership of the NEA and the teachers unions, which is now how they effectively get rewarded. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.